Hey everyone, it's Ashley and I'm back with a haul. Today I'm going to show you a ton of different items from Walmart, some clearance items, also some clearance items and cool dollar store finds from Dollar General, and then some home decor items as well, so stay tuned. So right now Walmart has a ton of stuff on clearance and I thought I'd share with you the clearance finds first and then I'll talk about some of the new items that they have in store. So there's a really a ton of great clearance items. The first ones I'm going to start off with are these running shoes and I picked these up for my daughter. Um, they're normally $14.87 and I thought that was such a great deal when they got marked down to $3. So if you happen to be in the area of Walmart, go check it out because you never know what they have on clearance. I know they have a ton of shoes that are from summertime that are getting clearance out right now and you can always purchase ahead or um, for multiple members of your family and that way you don't have to spend as much later. So the next two items I'm really excited about, these are the Silver Pearl A2 cards and envelopes and it's a set of 40 each and these are normally $7.97 and they got marked down to $2 which I thought was a really great deal and these are usually part of their wedding set but I, what I loved is that since they're a silver color I can go ahead and use that for Christmas time. So I'm going to make my own cards for Christmas. If you guys are interested in seeing kind of like a tutorial of how I'm going to make Christmas cards, um, feel free to leave a comment and I'll make sure to record that as well. But I thought these were so pretty and that's such a great deal. So the next item is also from the wedding department. This is a peony bouquet and it was $8.44 normally, marked down to $2. And it's about the same size as a couple bunches from Dollar Tree. And it also has some ribbon included, so I'm going to probably deconstruct this and use this in a future project. So the next few items are food finds. On the left hand side you can see some of the Bugles Ranch. Um, flavored. These were marked down to $2. Everything that I'm showing you that's food is within expiration date, so we've got plenty of time. Um, but this is a huge bag, and they had tons of these marked down to $2, so we picked up um, one of those to try. Also on the right hand side you can see some of the Chex Mix Popped, and it's normally $2.98, and that's on sale for $2. Um, in the front is some of the Idahoan fully loaded peppered bacon and cheddar and these are little microwavable mashed potatoes and those are a dollar so it's not really a huge savings on these ones but these are handy if you want to keep them you know at your desk for work or something like that. Also my son found a ton of these. These are the Slim Jim nacho packs and we picked up four of these. They're normally three dollars and they were half price so it ended up being like six dollars for four packs which is a pretty good deal. So the next few items I wanted to discuss are new items at Walmart. The first is the Lego Star Wars and my son picked up this one. It's the K2SO figure and this is one of the new robots from the upcoming Star Wars movie. If you have any Lego fans or Star Wars fans in your house, this is a really great set to pick up. They have a ton of the ships and as well as the new characters. So um, that might be something you want to consider stocking up for on Christmas. So this creepy one is $9.84 at Walmart and the neat thing about this one, uh, this is Mangled from Five Nights at Freddy's and it's a Walmart exclusive. So if you have any Five Nights at Freddy's fans in your household, this would be one to definitely pick up because you can only get it at Walmart. Also they have a ton of new ones in stock including Nightmare Freddy, Nightmare Foxy, Spring Trap, and also the Cupcake. So if you're looking for anything for the holidays for a night Five Nights at Freddy's fan, definitely check them out. So in the back here you can see a couple different finds from the clearance section. The first is this Mainstays Collapsible Storage Ottoman. It's pretty large. Um, they have a variety of colors. This one has kind of a, a velour um, type of material. And these are really handy if you want to keep them around the house for extra seating or storage. It was $16.84 and it's on sale for $8. They have a ton of colors so you'll probably find something that will match your decor. As well as the polyfill, this is the Royal Silk, and this is a fiber fill that you can use for stuffed animals or pillows. So if you're doing any crafting this holiday season, um, finding a bag for $4 is a really great deal. So I would check it out, especially if you do any sort of crafts. The, a ton of the crafts are on clearance right now, including stickers. I also saw some cross-stitching um, and embroidery um, sets as well. The next item I picked up is kind of hard to see here, but it is a Wrangler jacket and it's one of their denim um, jackets. It has kind of a interior lining here. It works really well. Uh, my husband had one of these that he wore for probably five years and it held up really, really well. Um, but it finally got worn out so we went ahead and replaced it. This is $45, but um, as long as he wore his other one, I think it's definitely a good investment. 
So this next section of the haul is all from Dollar General. There's a ton of stuff on clearance at Dollar General right now. When is Dollar General not running some sort of clearance sale? Probably never, but <laughs> they always have clearance. But right now they're having all the summer items on clearance and there's some really great deals. So if you want to go ahead and pick up some stuff to stock up ahead, this is a great time to do it. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what I found. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this garden flagpole. And this was 30 cents. Can you believe that? Um, so it's just a like a regular standard white garden pole set. And I was really excited to find it because I found all of these flags that you see in the background here. So I'm going to show you what the flags look like. The first one is a small garden flag. It was 15 cents. And it just says welcome and it has a little frog on it, which I thought was really adorable. Also, there was this one that was 15 cents, and it says welcome as well, and I think they're really lovely because even if you wear these out, um, you can just go ahead and purchase quite a few, and for 15 cents, it's going to last you, you know, for quite a while. And also, I found this frozen one, which I thought was really lovely. That would be really great for right around um, the holidays just because it's got that winter theme to it. I also found this one for 15 cents, and it says... Good things are going to happen. I think that's really lovely. You know, positive messages there. And this one also for 15 cents. This is a Finding Dory one. I thought this was really adorable. This would be great for summertime especially. Here's some more summer clearance items. There's this Amerigas barbecue spatula for 30 cents. It's a huge one and very heavy duty. This would make a really great holiday gift as part of like a outdoor cooking set. Also, there was a 3-in-1 grill brush. This was only 15 cents, and it has three different options for cleaning your grill. We also picked up this swivel grass shear for 60 cents, which is such a great deal if you want to stock up ahead and have um, extra tools in your shed for yard work, and it's a fraction of the price. The next few items are kind of random holiday finds. The first one is this 2017 classic car calendar, and my husband picked that up, and it was only a dollar, so a really great idea if you have anybody um, who loves classic cars. My daughter found this one for 50 cents, and it's a little cat calendar, and it has a whole ton of cats on it, so really great idea for the cat lovers in your family. Also, my son found this Star Wars wrapping paper, and this is from the new movie um, from last year. So it has all, it has Ray and Finn and everything on here. And this was $3 at Dollar General. So a little bit pricey, but I think it's great because it has all the different characters on it that he loves. So to go with the silver cards that I hauled, I also picked up these laser epoxy stickers. And I think they're really beautiful. They're just a variety of snowflakes. And I can't wait to use them and start decorating the cards. As you can see, I kind of rated the $1 section, and I still have a ton more to show you from the dollar section. I'm absolutely in love with the new items at Dollar General's $1 section. I found so many things that are new favorites. Um, but these ones are up for testing, and I'm going to see how they work. The first one is this Levels hand soap, and it's in the scent Floral Bouquet. It's a lavender scent. Um, but what I really love about this is the packaging is so pretty. I've seen ones that look just like this at Marshalls for right around four to five dollars a bottle, so I'm hoping this will, this is going to be a good comparable. The next one are these two. This is the Farm Stand Apple Hand Wash and also Vanilla Bean. And the neat thing about this is it's 16.9 ounces. It's huge. So um, if this works out to be a good one, that's a really great value for a dollar. So I'm crossing my fingers that they're good. The scents um, are pretty decent so far, from what I can tell. The next one is their foaming hand soap. I actually really love these. They do tend to be a bit drying, so I can't use them all the time. But this one is in a holiday scent. This is Cranberry Cobbler. And I also picked up Apple Cider. I'm all about the holiday scents right now, guys. <laughs> I also picked up some new um, toiletry items to try. The first ones are these Daily Defense. These, this is the moisturizing shampoo, and it's got coconut oil in it. I'm excited to try this one out. I also picked up the conditioner as well. This one I have not seen before. It's an 18 ounce size and this is a body wash. Uh, the scent is pretty as a peach. And as we know, Dollar Tree carries a ton of these, but um, they have some holiday scents out. This one is Winter Wonderland. And they're supposed to be comparable to Bath and Body Works. And I also picked up Country Fresh Apple. 
And the next one I haven't tried before. It's supposed to be comparable to Cetaphil. And this is their Gentle Skin Cleanser for all types. So I'm going to try that one out and see how I like it. That's a huge bottle for a dollar. So hopefully it works well. The next couple items I picked up on sale. These are the Sun Triple Clean Plus Oxy. They're not very strongly scented, so if you prefer um, lightly scented items, this is a good one for you. It was on sale for $4.50 a piece. And also they have these coupons for a dollar off as well, so if you go ahead and use that, it's $3.50 a bottle, which is a really great deal for 84 loads. These items are also from the $1 section. The first ones are these Great Scents, and these are odor neutralizing beads. They have a ton of different scents, including Cranberry. Um, this one is in Tropical Dreams. We picked that one up to test. They're pretty large. This is a 10 ounce size. Uh, picked up that one, and then also Warm Apple Pie, and we're going to see how well these work. I haven't had good luck with these in the past. Um, not this particular brand, but the little beads, so we'll see if it works. Also, in the $1 section, we also found from the same brand uh, these little miniature candles, and this one has a really good cold throw, the Caramel Cinnamon Roll, and I thought that was a really great one. Um, it's supposed to burn up to 25 hours and be comparable to Airwick and Glade. I'm going to test that one out and see how well it works. It smells really good. And then also Sparkling Cranberry. I thought this was really neat. It's another one of their fall slash holiday scents. And even the packaging, this one has kind of the holiday packaging with it. My husband picked up this White Rain Almond and Honey Soap. So we're going to test that one out. And I found another kind of um, Bath and Body Works comparable scent. This one is Apple and Honey. And it's supposed to be a limited edition. So they smell really good. I can't wait to try that one. The next item is the Emoji Pillow. My daughter found this one for $5, and it is really adorable. They also have emoji stickers for a dollar in case you um, have anyone in the family who loves emojis. And I love these. These are my favorite hands-down bargain from Dollar General. Like Out of all the bargains I've ever found there, I love these. I use them constantly. It, you get eight sponges for a dollar. It's a really great deal. They even have the heavy-duty sponges, so you can use these for all sorts of cleaning applications, and they really last pretty well. So I picked up three packages of these, and I highly recommend them. Here are some more items from the $1 section. More finds that I'm really excited about. The first one is the Spick and Span Cleaner. I love the Spick and Span Cleaners. They're amazing. This is one I haven't seen before. This is the Sea to Shining Sea. It's supposed to be a fresh scent. I also found this Comet Multi-Surface Spray Cleaner, and it's supposed to work on everything from granite to electronics, which I thought was great, and it's got a Mountain Fresh scent. This I have already tried and I absolutely love, so much that I actually went back and purchased two bottles of it. And this is the Fabuloso Cleaner, and this is in the scent Cinnamon Sparkle, and it really is very strongly scented. You only need a little bit um, every time you use it. The next item is this spray starch. I picked this up so I can do some ironing and get everything looking nice. It was only a buck, which I thought was a really great deal for the size. Also, this Comet with bleach. This is huge. It's a 25 ounce container and it's only a dollar. This is actually my second bottle of this Ajax. This is the Frosted Apple Burst. And it's a limited edition for the holidays. It smells great. It works great. I love it. Um, right now, I'm currently working on their Winter Citrus Burst, and you can see I'm that far into it. Um, I absolutely love these, so if you like you know, holiday scents, I would pick those ones up. And these are ones that I've been in the process of using. These are seasonal ones. I picked up the Spick and Span Pumpkin Spice. This one has a really nice light scent. It does smell like pumpkins, um, but it's not an overwhelming type of scent. So if you like kind of a nice fall but light scent, I would pick this one up. The other one that I've been in the middle of using is the Spick and Span Red Apple Orchard, and they have another one which is like farm apples or something like that, but I really love this one, and it works great. As you can see, I've been using the heck out of this one particularly. Um, this one's a bit stronger than the other one, um, the pumpkin spice one, so if you like apples and you like pumpkins, I would look for these cleaners specifically, and they were in the $1 section as well. While I was at Dollar General, I fell in love with some of these ornaments. I thought they were so cute, and they're only a dollar. As you can see, it has all this little detailing here. The back of these is the burlap, so you can see the burlap through. 
um, on the front with the little cutouts. This was absolutely my favorite, and they have so many different kinds. I picked up um, quite a few. They have a snowflake and some holly and berries, Christmas trees, as well as this little bird here, which I think is so cute. And as well as some different ornaments, they have ones that look really adorable. There's this one, was also a dollar, a little fox ornament, and he has a little scarf on him. I also found two different kinds of owls, and they were also a dollar. And I think these are going to match really well with the Dollar Tree ones. And just for a frame of reference, here's one of the Dollar Tree ones that I'm going to be using. So I just really love how those work, and I think they're going to look really great together on one of the mini trees. So um, if you're interested in seeing what the ornaments look like on the mini tree once it's decorated, let me know, and I'll show you guys later. Here are the last few items from Dollar General. I picked up some pumpkin seeds. I'm definitely enjoying fall. Also, this is from the $1 section. It's a Glad Cling Wrap for only a buck, which I think is great. I also picked up the Scotch Bright Non Scratch Scrubber for the shower walls. And this has like an extending wand and it's supposed to be really easy to use. I picked this one up specifically because I was talking to Michelle um, Think Pink on YouTube. I'll leave a link to her channel so you can check it out. But she was telling me that. Um, these kinds of things are the easiest for cleaning showers because I was telling her how much I hate cleaning showers and she was like use one of these so much easier so I can't wait to use it so excited the next few items are home decor finds and I picked them up at a store called smash and buys um, they have outlets in Phoenix so if you're in the Phoenix or Arizona area you might be able to find them um, they sell a lot of like refurbished and um, discontinued items that end up at Home Depot usually. And you can get them for a huge steep dis discount. So I picked up these two vases for $10 a piece. They're huge. They're probably about two feet tall. And I really love them. I'm going to use them for home decor. They're very, very heavy. Um, but for 10 bucks each on those. And then I have a couple more to show you. So here are the last two pieces, and these were also $10. They basically had no restrictions on the size of the pottery. They were just clearancing out a ton of pottery. So I picked up this one because I really love the striations in the paint job here, and I thought that was so pretty. And I love this one. This is a huge statement piece, so we picked up those. Thanks so much for watching. That's it for my home decor, Walmart, and Dollar General haul. If you're interested in any Dollar Tree DIYs and decor, check out my Facebook group. I have a link to it in the description box. And if you guys have been finding any cool items on clearance or on sale right now, feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys are finding and what you're up to. And I hope you guys have a great week.